Hello Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's John, back again with another review. I know I just, just did a review of two sodas, but I'm going to do another one right now. And I didn't include this one in the last one just because it's very different, different company. Just wouldn't compare right. And if you came to see this, you came to see this anyway. This is back on the market again Jolt Cola. Now, Jolt Cola um, was popular um, back in like the 90s, I want to say, because it had, uh, as it says, all the sugar, twice the caffeine. So, excuse me, in 2005, Jolt Cola like they changed from like the cola that they were making to more of like these energy drinks and they didn't go very well and they filed bankruptcy in 2009 and after 2009 Joe Cola came off the market um, but in 2017 it came back I'm not sure if this is the original company but it, it, they say that it is the original recipe uh, so it is now available in these 16 ounce cans. You can get them at uh, select Dollar General stores or on Amazon.com, which is where I got mine, because there wasn't any Dollar Generals near that had these in stock. And I'd rather have it just delivered to me than travel multiple hours to pick up a can of Jolt Cola. Anyway, I'm going to open this up, give it a taste, tell you what I think about it. Uh, I don't. Rem I've had Joe Cola in the past, but I don't really remember anything about it flavor-wise. In my opinion, I think it just tasted like cola. But anyway, let's open it up. I got a little glass just so I can pour it in, and you can see what the color is. So as you can see. It is your typical cola color. Fair amount of bubbles in there. Let's give it a sniff. Um, the smell is light. There's not like a huge cola smell. Usually Pepsi has a very sweet smell. Coca-Cola has like a, a very eh, Coke smell. But they're both pretty smelly. This one is light on the smell. Let's give it a taste. Flavor is also on the light side. sugar is in this. There's two servings in this can, just so you know. And 25 grams of sugar, so that means 50 grams of sugar in the whole can, as opposed to like one of these bottles of Mountain Dew. One bottle has 77 grams. This is a 20 ounce bottle, this is a 16 ounce, so four ounce difference, 27 grams of sugar difference. Ooh, and the Pepsi only has 44. So that ooh, the Mountain Dew has 77 grams of sugar in that bottle. This one has 50. So this 16 ounce can of Jolt has more sugar in it than this 20 ounce bottle of salted caramel Pepsi. Which is weird because I thought this salted caramel Pepsi tasted really good and sweet and candy like. This Jolt Cola is lighter in flavor. It tastes less sweet, but it has more sugar in it and less actual liquid in it. So, like, the sugar is more dense in this than it is for the Pepsi. It's not bad flavor, it's just very light flavor. Um, so I suppose if all you really want is a lot of caffeine and a lot of sugar 
and you're not too worried about the flavor being amazing. I guess you try a, a Joe Cola. For me, uh, I don't think I need it. There's plenty of other ways, more tastier ways to get the caffeine in your body and less sugar while you're at it. I'm going to give the Jolt Cola a 6.7 out of 10. It, uh, it just, the flavor was not there for me in this one. If I was blindfolded and you gave this to me, I might not even be able to tell that it was cola. Like, I don't know. Is it lemon-lime? Grape? I don't know. Anyway, 6.7 for the Joel Cola. Kind of disappointed. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on YouTube or Twitter. Wherever you prefer social media is. Anyway, goodbye. Enjoy yourselves.